Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be trying on some Charlotte Tillsbury lipsticks. Um, I have a few of her lipsticks, um, I believe. I have a lot of the popular colors. I won't be doing pillow talk in this video because pillow talk will be in a separate video. I have one, two, three, four, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 17 Charlotte Tillsbury lipsticks I'm going to be trying on in this video. Let's get into this video before my light goes out. Now they're saying like makeup wipes are bad for you. I feel like everything is bad for you. Like there's no way around anything anymore. Like everything is bad for you. <laughs> Using the lip cheat, my opinion personally, you need a lip liner with Charlotte lipsticks if you are a deeper skin tone. Matter of fact, even with the lighter skin tones when I worked at the counter, we use lip liner. So this is a Charlotte Tillsbury lip cheat. Um, this is the Pillow Talk number three intense. These liners are waterproof and they are creamy. So like once you put them on, they don't move. So it's really good. You can drink with them and you can eat with them. Not for sure of the price point, but everything will be linked down below in the description box. I wonder if I can zoom. Okay, so we are lined, and this is her lip cheat pillow talk intense number three. Super creamy, super creamy, waterproof. It puts me in the mind of my favorite, favorite lip liner, Chestnut by MAC, except for this one. I would say it has a little bit more of a cooler tone to it. I'm going to be trying on Nude Kate. I haven't even used this one yet. We're going to be trying on this one right here. This one is Nude Kate. Um, and Nude Kate is like this, it's like a yellow toned nude color. Hmm. This is my first time trying this on on darker skins. I was trying it on at the counter of doing, you know, more um, lighter skin model, lighter skin clients, but when I did work there. But this is my first time trying it on my skin. Off the back, Charlotte lipsticks are really creamy. Really creamy. So this is Nude Kate. So this is how Nude Kate is looking. So off the back, Nude Kate, I would call it like that, mm, it's like a yellow, a yellow nude. And this is Nude Kate. And also I have another liner. She has this liner, which is Foxy Brown, which is, I am not a fan of at all. No, I don't really like it, so I'm not even gonna really bother it. But that is a Foxy Brown. I would say if you are like two shades lighter than me, you'll probably like that one. We're gonna try Super 90s. So this is one of hers. This is like that, this is like that. Remember Kylie had that, that mauve lip color when she first, I guess, up on the scene? And, for some reason, at the back of the Charlotte lipstick, it always like has a lines back there. I don't know why, but it does. It's not as hydrating as the new Kate. This one is gonna be like a demi matte. So here's this one. As you can see, this one is like that mauve toned mood. If you like a mauve tone nude, a demi matte, this one's perfect for you. And this one is super 90s. And I love Charlotte's packaging. It's like this really beautiful rose gold, vintage, golden age, Hollywood type of color. I love her packaging. I wore this on my birthday. This one is a super nude. And this one is really cute because it has like some little rhinestone um, packaging, encrusted detail at the top. And it's just, you know, her standard bullet. This one is gonna be more on the glossier side. So this one, this lipstick is gonna be more hydrated. It looks about a mauve um, cool tone color.
This one is Super Nude by Charlotte Tilsbury. Mauve Nude. It's great for deeper skin tones. So as you can see, I'm going to tell you now, Charlotte has lipsticks are very similar. They're very, very similar. Charlotte lipsticks are similar. Similar. Those for like that mauve nude or like just like that nude or pink. Charlotte is a very feminine girly line. FYI. Um, so yeah, this one is super nude. And I believe the kissing formula of Charlotte, the kissing formula, which when you go on the side and look at them, you'll be able to tell which one's on the kissing formula. They kind of like peel your lips. I don't know why, but they kind of peel your lips. So the kissing formula, I don't know why, but I feel like they kind of like peel your lips a little bit. I don't know what's in them. This one is Yes Honey. I actually think I wore this one on my birthday. Did I? I'm not for sure. But, um, I'm like a little too light here. Let me bag it, big it. The similar, I would say, to Nude Kate. But this one has more of a hydrating formula to it, and it is not as much of a yellow inside of it, if that makes sense. Well, this one is pretty much giving me hydration soft nude and on me I just think it just looks like a nude and once again I personally think all these work with a liner I think all of her lipsticks look better with a liner on deeper skin tones and lighter skin tones I think that's why she made that I think that was good marketing plan I kind of overlined my top lips so as I'm wiping off um the lips it was just like a little a little trick if you overline it just a smidge, just a smidge, and it just stays so it kind of stays longer. This one is called Perfect. <laughs> some, some, um, like her names are really creative, I guess, or just like really, like I would say, feminine, baddie, like feminine baddie, I guess. I don't know. I haven't even used this one yet. Ah, I haven't used it yet. So this one is going to most definitely be, I don't know if you guys can see. This one is most definitely going to be like your pinky nude, like a very, 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 very true, true pink nude. And her creamy formulas are um, the kissing formulas, I believe, unless she added some new ones, I don't know. super soft nude it's really it's sheer it's really sheer and hydrating so if you like something sheer hydrating and you know cool pink nude and a sheer hydrating finish we're going in with super model i know this one is like a demi matte and this one is just going to be one of those mauve darker, like those deep, I would say a deep mauve nude. Charlotte has, Charlotte's a lot of mauve, a lot of nude, a lot of pinks. Charlotte is like feminine girly glam. Golden age Hollywood. And that's what Charlotte kind of aesthetic, aesthetic is. Feeling like a boss has bitch these days. Life is more than just getting paid. Yeah, you could bet your chips. Hope and wish and lose it all so quick these days. Yeah, this the game mama gave me. Yeah, this the way that he raised me. And when I get shit, it's like these feel so good. Like they feel so good on your lips. This one feels like a powder, soft satin finish. Like it feels really good on your lips. does very 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 much remind me of Teddy by Mac and I believe Charlotte was inspired by Mac um or she like she kind of wanted I know it's like it's something with Mac <laughs> that she likes so her lipsticks give me very much luxury think of Mac but luxury wise I'm gonna be going into the lipstick <gasps> I thought I lost it okay now, I am not excited because of this person's name. I was like, you know, when you, okay, I moved and like, you know, it's kind of hard moving and sometimes your stuff gets lost. And 
I don't want my things getting lost on makeup, but God brought it to me safely. And I was like, okay. I was like, I thought I had this lip color. This lip color is KKW. It's inspired by Kim K. I remember working at the counter, right? Right? People was like, I want that lipstick. And I'm like, whoa, what lipstick? You know, Charlotte got a lot of lipsticks. Like, what lipsticks, ma'am? How can I help you? And they're like, I don't want to say, I don't want to say the name. I don't want to say the name. Huh? They were talking about Kim K lipstick. <laughs> KW lipstick, which is like a really pretty nude, and I thought I lost it. And um, it's also engraved with the little lips right here, but yeah, people would come in for this lipstick and be like, I don't want to say the name. Like, it's so crazy because like, you know, the Kardashians are from California, you know, I believe, right? And like, people there hate them. Like, it's so crazy. I mean, I don't know them to hate them. I don't hate anyone. Hate isn't in my heart, but Kim KW. Okay, so this was this one. It looked like I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Like I said, it's a pale nude. Pale pink nude. So with this one, what I would do, what I would do, is go in a little bit more with my liner. And this one needs a gloss to me, but I can't walk around like this, like this one needs a gloss. And this one is Nice Buzz by MAC. This is better than me, but it's like that pale pink nude. Not kind of my type to walk around like that, but you know, to each his own. So this is Kim KW with extra liner in that, um, what is it? Ooh. Kim KW and I just added gloss, but I'm gonna take it off. Okay. This one is Big Birkin Bag, whole five, six, mm -mm -mm. Birkin Brown. This one's Birkin Brown. This is one of my favorite ones because it was like that deep brown. So if you love those, like that 90s color, this is it. This is And this is gonna be one of those, like, like those very, that that matte, her matte colors, like her demi, her demi matte colors. And I believe Charlotte just signifies them as matte, but when I'm sitting here looking, as I can still see like a little bit of moisture. Like to me, matte, matte is matte, like. Woo wee woo, re re woo, liquid lipstick matte. Like that is matte to me. This still has like a little bit of um, a little moisture. Demi matte. It's that brick. I was saying not a brick red, but a brick brown. A brick brown. Is that it? I don't know. But it's like a brick brown. Hydrating per usual. That's what I love about Charlotte. You don't have to worry about your lips being super dry. Even though the kissing formula for my lips kind of, you know, pull off some skin. Yeah. That's pretty much, you know, just the truth. And so this is Walk of Shame. Walk of Shame. I swear, Charlotte and Nars got some names, okay? So this one is Walk of Shame. This one is gonna be another brick. This is gonna be like a red brick, like a red brown color. I would say like a red brown color. This is like one of her best sellers too. Who come in and be like, walk a shame, walk a shame. Can I get a walk a shame? I mean, she's cute. It isn't one of my favorite ones, but I mean, I most definitely feel like I'm giving like a 90s vibe here. Charlotte Tilbury most definitely inspires from supermodels, Victoria's supermodels, so that's that one. Time to go. Stoned Rose. Let's try this one. This one will be like a really pretty spring color. 
Really pretty for spring and summer. And once again, hydrating, it's her kissing formula. So if you like that hydrating lip color, this is the one. We are going to try Penelope Pink. Penelope Pink is one of those pale yellow nudes. I'm telling you guys, I told y'all in the beginning, this is Charlotte. This is kind of her, her aesthetic. She keep, she follows her aesthetic well. She's very consistent with her aesthetic. I can say that. Oh, this is like one of my favorite ones. So that's Penelope Pink. And now we're gonna go into the color colors. Like I only have two colors that are like a purple and like a magenta or like a, oh no, I'm gonna go. Y'all name, name it in the comments down below. I'm gonna use this liner. This liner is Berry Natty. It's not my fave. I feel like it can be deeper. Like, night mob. So I'm just trying to stick to Charlotte liners and I'm trying to just stick to the program. So that kind of looks like a dark pink on me. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna try Velvet Underground. I said a really pretty, her like violet magenta color. Mm. I will most definitely do this better with a liner, but I'm just sticking to the Charlotte liners. I just used the purple one that I had. But this one is giving very much, I would say 80s. I would personally use a deeper berry liner with this one. Um, it's like a really fun color. I just need a different liner. So yeah, wipe her off. This one is called Hell's Bells. I don't know if they're, she names them after people. I don't know if it's Holly Berry, I don't know. But this one's Hell's Bell. Hell's Bells, it's like a really pretty deep purple. Super comfortable, it's pretty. I would just use a different liner. I need Night Moth to wear this, you know what I mean? Like that, it'll be so pretty with like a darker, darker, like um, burgundy, like deep, deep purple um, liner. So it'll just be very, this will make a very nice ombre lip concoction with something else, you know? I forget which, this one is the Superstar Lips. I'll link it down below, this is a different category of Charlotte and you can take these and like replace them. I used to wear this one to work every day. This one is Viva la Vraie Gloire. Viva la Vraie Gloire. Viva la Vraie Gloire. I don't know. Viva la Vraie Gloire. <laughs> Once again, Charlotte's Mavi Tone. Angel Alessandra. This one is like, I would say like it's peachy. You like peachy? This one's nice, it's a peachy color. Peachy and these, these one are also, this is hydrating. This one is In Love with Olivia. Really popular one of hers, people love this one. They will come in all the time and get it. And be mindful, these ones are a few bucks more. These ones are a little bit more because you can buy the replacements and you can get them online or Charlotte's Boutique. I have recently created a TikTok and a new Instagram 
for um, my channel. So I will be posting on my on this Instagram the updates and things like that and when I'm getting ready to post. So make sure you follow the Instagram. It will be linked down below. And also if you like TikToks, I not a fan of TikToks. Tickety dot talk talk talks. I think people love it for makeup and TikTok is cool. It's just like the ignorance and the racism that stood on there that made me delete it during the quarantine time. I mean, like the, the beginning of the quarantine. Um, but TikTok is cool. So I've created a TikTok and Instagram and I'll be posting on there when I get ready to post. And I'll be posting like little videos and like little snippets and uploading photos. I'll be active on there. Um, I promise. So yeah, follow my new TikTok and my new Instagram right here. Hepburn Honey, last but not least, one of my favorite Charlotte lipsticks. And I have to add a gloss to this. Like, I can't, I can't. I cannot, I cannot. And then this is Max Nice Buzz. I've tried on all 17 of my Charlotte Tillsbury lipstick collection. I hope that this was helpful to you. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, Charlotte has a variety of lipsticks. She has way more than this. I mean, going to the counter and trying them out for yourself. Miss Charlotte Tillsbury in her you know her accent darling her accent so <laughs> i just recommend you just you know going to the counter and trying them on charlotte tillsbury is a more of a luxury brand so it will be a bit it will be a bit more on the pricier side it's not going to be your 16 bucks which is expensive for a lipstick but it's going to be on the more pricier side but i, I believe her lipsticks are 100 percent worth it um she is starting to expand more with the darker skin even though it shouldn't take anybody that long honestly speaking and I am someone who worked for the brand so imagine me being there <laughs> so yeah so thank you guys for watching don't forget to follow my new Instagram and my TikTok I'll be posting on there and updating and when I'm going to get ready to post and upload make sure you like this video comment if you will and also share this video if you know it was helpful or if you really enjoyed it just share it just share it share it so yes Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.